Does anyone else get like kind of angry when you're just so hot and things go wrong and you're just so hot? I literally have the heat pump, well, air con. You know, I've got it on cold right and I've got it pumping. My hair just needs to get off my neck. So we're just gonna like, I literally just styled it and that's probably why I'm also so hot. The hair is just gonna look ugly for a little while. <sighs> It's not just the heat, I'm so angry at myself because I'm so careful when it comes to like this room. I don't wanna stain the carpet. I don't wanna get mess everywhere, you know? And I was fake tanning and I've got this huge plastic thing under me to catch makeup, to catch pencil shavings. And I was fake tanning. And I put my fake tan on my mitt and gently pushed it against my skin and it literally like defied gravity and went and like poofed its way like a meter onto the carpet. I've managed to get most of the stain out. My carpet's very light as you can see um, and I use my carpet cleaner and everything but I just hope it like fades out all the way. I find that sometimes when you're cleaning the carpet like it doesn't look like it's come out but then you know after a day or so it like does. My god I'm just so angry at myself right now and I'm hot and I'm flustered and I'm frustrated and I've got under boob sweat. Mm. I literally am like this close to just being like I'm not filming today but I know it's gonna make me feel better it's just been the theme of my life of like things going wrong lately you know I've got the blind down so the lighting isn't as nice as it could be it could be like 10 out of 10 lighting today but I'm just too hot okay we're gonna do a full face of first impressions which is very risky because this could go terribly wrong and make me in a worse mood like put me in a worse mood but it could also go really right. I have some goodies from like my past two, maybe even past three PR hauls. Um, mostly from my last couple though. So hot, oh my god, I feel like I'm burning and I'm indoors. I'm finally about to try this. So you know, I love the Charlotte Tilbury version. I love the Auric version. I love the Emco Beauty version. But today we're trying the ALF version. This one is like, I feel like so many people's favorite. I've got shade Fair Light. This is from Glam Raider. How does this? I'm starting to think maybe I don't like. Is my microphone on? Okay, it is, thank goodness. I feel like it needs to come closer to me. Hello? Hello? Is that good sound? I don't know. Whatever. I feel like it was pretty good in my last video. Not my last, last video, the voiceover video, but the one where I actually used the microphone last time. Because I used a different microphone in the voiceover. No one cares, Shan. I cannot get into this, eh? It's stuck. Where's some scissors? As I was saying, I feel like the older I get, the more I realize, like, maybe I don't love summer. Maybe I like spring and autumn where it's, like, pretty and nice weather and warm, but not, like, hot. So I swear every summer I do this, I'm just like, ugh. Straight off the bat, why does the applicator not feel like it's distributing as much product? Like, it looks pretty, though. Kind of messy, it's, like, going all over the edge. I'll just wipe that on as well. I like to use a lot of this stuff. The color looks really good. This is shade two, fair light. It seems to be not very fair, um, just a warning. <laughs> like it, it looks like a similar color to my shade four that I use from the other brands. Oh no, this is shade three from Emco Beauty. I think I'm shade four in the Charlotte Tilbury. But look, shade three in the Emco looks a little bit lighter and it's a little bit more like neutral, I would say, rather than the e.l.f. one looks definitely much more yellowy, which is totally fine. But just letting you know, because like, if I was blind ordering that online, I would not expect it to be this dark. I'm going to use a flat face brush, blend this out, and I'm expecting amazing things, because like, everyone loves this. It looks so similar to the others. Just another version. <laughs> I love, love, love when you have options, especially from affordable brands, like e.l.f. is such a great affordable brand and I have been an elf stan since the beginning of my channel when they used to only do eyes lips face one dollar makeup okay if you know you know I definitely could have used a little bit less especially on the forehead it's looking a bit tin man but we're gonna apply a little bit of foundation so it'll be fine yeah I've got fake tan on and like that's like a fake tan shade genuinely like do they have like a lot of lighter colors than this hopefully they've at least got like a zero one too because that's like I don't know anyways Shut up. Right, before I um, put on any foundation, I'm going to try the Cherry Blossom under my eyes. Now I tried either Cherry Blossom or Pink Pomelo. I can't remember which one, but I tried one of them on my date night, um, which I did film a Get Ready With Me. It's like a voiceover style one. I have not edited it yet. 
do you want to see it? Yes or no? Like the makeup came out okay, but at the time I was like, I hate my makeup. <laughs> but it's voiceover, so like you wouldn't know. It looked amazing though. I just don't know which one I used. I'd have to go back and check. So today we're going to use a Cherry Blossom. And like I said, I will eventually use all of these. Um, so we can see which one suits my skin tone the best. Because I know some of you have like a similar skin tone to me. I'd say this is like the most pink corrector that they have. This one's like the perfect in between peach and pink. I would say pink pomelo. And then they've got peach. Which I think if you're like a shade darker than I am. Is a really good option. And then they have others too. Those are the ones I've tried obviously. Yeah Port's fine now. He's been back at daycare since yesterday. So today is his second day back. We had him home for a couple of weeks. We've got a new concealer. This M Pro Beauty one. I think end up trying this this is like a dupe i think for the tart shape tape so let's use this one today this is the shade light um i feel like the expectation when you're a self-employed person with children is that like you can essentially just always spend time with them you don't need to send them to daycare you just you know you just do both but it is incredibly hard to balance and like when your income relies on you yeah this coverage is insane I should have almost used a sponge. Wow. Yeah, the corrector looks really good though. I feel like pink pomelo is going to be my favorite one. Because it's got like a little bit more peach to it, you know? It's also tricky when you're like self-employed. Like you can't do the same maternity leave and stuff. Like it's just tricky. I guess what I'm trying to say is like the balance is hard. Like people give me so much shit for sending my son to daycare. But it's like, well, how else am I supposed to actually like get anything done? Hamish is doing work too, you know? Maybe when he's a bit older it'll be easier. But then again, like, you know, he goes to school and everything. That's gonna be, you know, good because then I can like hang out with him outside school hours. And that's gonna be so nice and so fun. And I can get my work done while he's at school. But when he's not at daycare for the day, he doesn't go every day. Like, I spend a lot of time with him still. He sleeps for like an hour and a half to two hours. Like, I get a little bit of work done in that time. But then also, you know, I'm prepping meals and I'm doing washing and like doing all these other things. Like, it's, yeah. The concealer looks great. So, yeah. It's just weird when I'm used to having him at home. Like, it's been such a hard couple of weeks though. Like, when he was sick, like, he wasn't seriously ill or anything. He just had like a cold. But it just put him out of sorts. Like he wasn't his normal self. And he was waking up overnight. And doing things he wouldn't normally do. Um, so he was tired. We were tired. Like it was just a lot. But I also just enjoyed all the snuggles. Because he's not really clingy or snuggly. But when he's sick. Did I just hit my mic? Whoops. When he's sick like he just wants to cuddle me and read books. And it's so cute. And I really like lap that time up. You know what I mean? Parenthood is so weird. Like it's not linear. It's not simple. And I totally understand now like when you know people say oh like just wait till you're a parent like don't judge mums don't judge other parents and blah 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 even though so many people do but it's so true like nothing can like prepare you for all of the emotions and like no matter what you do you feel guilty no matter what you do you feel like you're doing it wrong and it's just like the weirdest journey it's so difficult like I find it really difficult I don't find I don't know like I find my love for him comes naturally but like I'm always worried I'm doing crap wrong, you know? Like, I'm always worried. Is that normal? Probably. Or I'm done with that chat. Anyways, my kid's at daycare. If you don't like it, I don't care. And now we get to play with makeup and do some work. <laughs> what I... Oh, should I do... Mm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. No foundation makeup, which I talked about in my last video, how I think it's a scam, because literally, like, you're just using concealer anyways. But I am. I'm just gonna whip on some concealer as my foundation so no foundation i don't actually think i have many new foundations if any anymore like i think i've shown you all the ones i've got so let me know what foundations you want me to try out any new ones you want me to try on my channel i can do like a proper full first impression because i miss filming those i mean i've done some recently but i want to do more like i really love filming foundation first impressions i love trying out new foundations like i find it so fun so i'm kind of blending this just where i want some extra coverage i've been breaking out really badly because i've been really anxious and stuff like with porter being sick I haven't been sleeping good i haven't been mentally amazing because when he's sick like i just stress out like I feel like I cannot sleep properly at all. I wake up at every little noise. Like I'm starting to sleep better now, but yeah, my face was like breaking out. I was picking at it because that's like my bad habit when I'm really, really, really anxious. I pick at 
my face. Some people like bite their nails or peel off their nail polish and stuff. For me, it's my face, my poor face. Like I just, I look at things that aren't even there and I just start squeezing and squeezing and I bleed and it's just, yeah. So, a little bit of concealer over those areas. It's starting to heal now, which is nice. And then finally, I actually bought this like a little while ago, the LYS Beauty Higher Standard Satin Matte cream blush in self love so it's supposed to help mattify the look of your like pores and limit shine because it's got kaolin clay and it's also got avocado oil for hydration and vitamin e in the packaging i'm sure you've seen these i saw meredith dark spray i think for the first time oh the color's not what i expected i expected it to be a light pink from the swatch but you know you can never trust that it actually looks lighter on camera oh no there we go that's more what it looks like. I'm gonna try it with a angled face brush. We'll just pick up a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Do you know one of the things I find really hard about, like when you're hanging out with a toddler for a long time is I feel like I don't listen to my own music <laughs> and I should. But like, then again, a lot of the music I like to listen to is not appropriate for him to listen to. You know, people are like, oh, just do all your own things and like your kid will adjust and like, you know, they'll just get used to it. But also like not really appropriate all the time. The stuff that I like to watch or the stuff that I like to listen to, you know, like we just finished The Tudors and um, some of those scenes in The Tudors, not appropriate for a nearly two year old. But I do feel like I'm one of those people where Music puts me in a good mood all the time. Like I'm listening to it really quietly on my computer right now, listening to some throwback bangers. I sometimes feel like that's when I start to feel like I'm losing myself a little bit is when I just have not listened to my own music for a while. I should really just like chuck in my earbuds, but then again, he'll probably come and like pull them out of my ears because he's, he does stuff like that. You really lose yourself when you become a mum. We're gonna try this color. I don't even know if they make this still. It's the Bang Roll Pressed Powder Blush, but it's totally a bronzer shade. I'm just applying this straight on top. I'm not setting it. Like I'm kind of setting my face with it, if that makes sense. I don't even know like how much sense I'm making in this video because like I'm just in such a weird mood after like just all of the stuff happening this morning. <laughs> None of it's even serious, but it's just one of those days. Oh, I went and got my hair done too, which is nice so I don't have roots. I got that done, when did I get that done? Last week? Now I'm going to take some of the cherry blossom cake um, powder under my eyes. It's like a pink powder. You guys have probably seen me use this before. Someone, everyone uses this, right? I'm just going to sit under my eyes, down the side of my nose. And kind of blend it into the top of the blush to create a nice transition. That concealer like did not crease either while I was messing around. Usually concealers kind of move a lot before I set them so I would normally set them straight away. Whereas that one stayed looking really good. And I'm also just going to use a little bit of this around my t-zone. And then I'm gonna take the same color in the Easy Bacon Snatch. I'm gonna rub a little bit of this underneath my eyes as well, just to brighten some more. Kind of like keeping that right underneath where the bags are. Usually I apply this with a brush because it looks a bit more natural and everything, but I don't know. I just feel like with this blush right now, like I like this dramatic kind of contrast. We're gonna roll with it. And then I'll just blend out the powder a little bit. So I have a couple of key colors I want to use today on my eyes because um, I, I could not be bothered finding a cute shirt so I was just like I'm rolling with this oversized t-shirt I'm wearing already and I thought maybe blue and yellow could look cool because I've got the Yucca palette which is it Yucca or Yucca? I have no idea I'm sorry but the Natasha Denona palette because then I also saw that I have this blue eyeliner by one size I've no idea where I got this did I get sent I, f I feel like I've never been sent one size beauty but I'm like why would I have bought a blue eyeliner so maybe I did get sent it 
I don't know. And I really want to try this Microtech Eye Crayon by Natasha Denona. And it's in the shade Fushi, F-U-S-H-I. Oh, that was underwhelming. Okay, here we go. It's like a mustard yellow, and I love mustard yellow. Like, my favorite nail color, like, three years ago for a while was this exact color. It looks so cool on your nails. Might have to do it again. It's like an underrated color. Like, I really love mustard. You know what? I might do a mustard-themed house on The Sims. I'm really into, like, doing themed houses on The Sims at the moment. Right now, I'm working on the Not So Berry Challenge. And I'm, like, just started yesterday. So I did the mint house. If you know, you know. I love The Sims. I literally just thrive. I love building the houses. But I got a little bit, like, tired of building houses on The Sims. Sorry if this chair's boring to some of you, but I know lots of you love The Sims. So, like... I don't know, I got a little bit like burnt out, but like just building houses. I built so many houses, like I do love it. It looks good now, by the way. Look how cool, something a little bit different. So I was like, oh, if I do one of these challenges, it's a little bit fun because I get to keep changing the house, but it's also incorporating a bit of gameplay. So yeah, I've been doing that and I enjoy it. I enjoy the gameplay with like, you know, the goals and everything. Okay, there's a matching color, Fushi. Does anyone know what that means? Because I see Elysian's here, and I know that's a cool word because I used to have a lipstick called Elysian. This is the wrong brush to use for this. It is not even transferring whatsoever. Let's try this random brush I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like, it just won't come off. Hmm. Is it the color? It's almost like the color just doesn't want to transfer onto my eye. I'll just keep going. This random brush I'm using is the ABH 20. It's like an eyebrow brush. Hey, Mish is just making me a second coffee. It's either going to make me feel amazing or anxious or angry. Roll the dice. I usually have one coffee a day. Oh, it's bad though. Like since getting this, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know, but we got a proper like espresso coffee machine, like a Breville Barista Pro, I think it's called. Um, I have vlogged about it, but I haven't had time to edit my vlogs or anything like that yet. I've got vlog footage from like January, so I really need to edit. Um, but yeah, loving, loving, loving having that. We've already kind of nailed the technique. It's such a pain in the ass. No one tells you, but it's such a pain in the ass to like set up the machine because you'd expect like you chuck the coffee beans in and you learn how to tamp it. You learn how to like brew it and you're away laughing. No, because every bean, you've got to have them like perfectly ground and how do you do that well I don't know because some of them like to be coarser some of them like to be a finer blend you have to figure it out depending on what it tastes like and how it tastes to you so we literally made like 20 coffees until my camera just stopped filming I'm gonna go in with this round eye brush because these pick up a lot of color and buff out really nicely usually they pick up a lot of color I feel like this color might be a weird eyeshadow I usually love Natasha Denona eyeshadows, but this particular color, like, look at this. Like, usually this brush is, like, magic. It's just, I don't know. It's not really cutting the mustard today. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> we let our hair down now. I'm just starting to cool down, thankfully. Poor Hamish. He's, like, trying to calm me down. I was, like, in tears. He's, like, Shannon, why are you crying? It's just fake tear. No, I'm not pregnant. Okay. <laughs> my mother, was it my mother-in-law asked me or my friend? I think a couple people asked. Now my hair's all ruined from the clip. Yeah. Nope. It's just like a quarter shot. Mm-hmm. Did you have another one? Oh, you know what <laughs> <laughs> Hamish is convinced if he has more than one coffee in a day, he just like gets really like pissed off. Anyways, yeah, I got asked a couple times like last week if I was pregnant because I just cried at everything. And I was like, oh God, maybe my hormones are a bit like... You know what, it probably is my hormones from lack of sleep. I actually feel like I'm only just starting to like sleep a bit better and it's giving me flashbacks to like when Porter was like a newborn. Like I struggled so much and I genuinely think it was the sleeping because I'm not good with like little sleep. I've got dandruff. Yeah. Like I struggle with lack of sleep really, really badly. And it's honestly one of the reasons why I'm just like not interested in having another child because lack of sleep is so, so like if you want to torture me, just keep me awake. You know how like back in the Roman times, I'd just like keep people awake and stuff for like ever. I would rather die and I get so emotional. And honestly, that's probably why like I was literally crying today. Or oh, I'm due for my period. 
I don't think I'm pregnant. Me and Hamish have talked about it. Like, if I somehow got pregnant, it'd be a miracle. Um, but <laughs> if I somehow got pregnant, like, obviously, we would, you know, love the baby and whatever. But, like, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Someone messaged me the other day and said, how do you know? I'm just going to go in with Tipu. This colour looks better already. What's up with this colour? Fushi. I think Fushi is like pressed weird. They asked me how I knew I was like done. Because they were like confused also like about what they wanted. And I was like, I don't know. I, I just I just feel like I know. Like since quite early on, like I just felt like I got everything I wanted. If that makes sense. Like I looked at Porter and I was like... This is what I wanted. Every now and then I have a moment where I'm like, oh, you know, when they're adults, maybe it would be nice like to have more people around the table. But at the same time, like I, I think because I'm an only child, I'm just like, it's okay to have an only child. Where people like freak out about only children, but I don't know. Like, yeah, I had a couple moments where I was like, oh, I wanted a brother or sister, but for the most part, like I was pretty stoked. Like I got to like go stay with family a lot because they were happy to have me because you know it was just me you know like I'm all for people that want more than one I'm not saying like one is like the right way to do it duh it's just what feels right to me if I had another I would make it work but it's certainly not in our plan at all and people said like oh you'll change your mind like when Porter's like a toddler you'll change your mind but I still have not changed my mind I feel like if I had another one like I would want Porter to be like way older but I'm not interested in having um like two children really far apart no thank you like if I were to have more than one me and Hamish both said if we decide to have more than one we would decide to have them close together um there's no way like yeah at this point I'm like still in just the no mindset and I'm at peace with that mm. obviously iced coffee today because it's so hot we have made hot ones too which is so yummy but to do the iced ones we just fill the glass with the ice pour over the double espresso shot from the machine and then top it up with some soy milk, not froth, just like normal soy milk. Um, and then a little bit of caramel. Yum. And it tastes so much nicer than the Nespresso. Like, I was stoked to get the Nespresso. I loved the Nespresso for ages. But I have to say, like, this is better. So that's Tipu. That's such a cool colour. A little bit of citrine. Now this brush is a little bit more dense. It's the Tulip Crease brush. And I'm just going to pop some of this on the inner half of the crease. And I do have another palette I want to try. That's just making it a little bit more green undertone. And I'm going to take Valley, I think. Which is just like a beautiful everyday brown. I do really like the colours in this palette. I'm disappointed in Fushi though. But the others that I've used perform well. And the colours overall, like, I just love the colours. Because I feel like it's such a fun colourway that's not just normal. You know, it's not like the normal colours that people do with a colourful palette. It's so much more unique, but it's also got your everydays. So, like, you could definitely buy this as your palette for everyday, but then you could also use it to do some fun colours too. And I feel like those, like, greeny yellows on the lower lash line look so cool. You could do neutrals on top and then a pop of colour on the bottom. But it's, like, not even, like, a bright pop of colour. It just looks cool. I feel like with my hazel eyes, like... This kind of palette just looks really cool because it like mimics the colours. And there's something about these types of colours with blonde hair that I love. Reminds me of like a dirty martini, even though dirty martini is not this colour. But like if I had to name this, I would call it dirty martini. Which is Hamish's favourite cocktail, fun fact. I cannot stand them. He got me one one time and I literally thought I was going to vomit. I'm just going to swatch Macchia on my finger. See, the shimmers are beautiful too. Let's do Ray. Stunning. I think it's just fushi. I mean, I haven't tried all the colors, but fushi is disappointing. Okay, I feel like I'm just gonna use whatever colors are on my fingers right now and just like add a little bit, even though oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> wow. When I show you the palette I want to use, you'll understand. I'm just gonna layer the other color on top. So, Macchia on first. This is Macchia alone. Oh my god, love, love, love. And then Ray on top. Honestly, I'm pissed off that my hair's ruined because it took me so long to do this morning. But I knew it was risky because my hair actually needs a wash. Um, and sometimes when my hair needs a wash, like it just doesn't style nicely. Like, I don't know, probably brush it. Do you know what else pissed me off this morning? Is I was styling my hair and I'm using my Numi, which I've literally had since 
like 2015 or something. I used to do sponsorships with them back in the day. Um, same ones, they're still going strong. I love them to death, but they're like American, so I have to use a converter. And like, as I was doing my hair, they keep popping out of the converter. I was like, why is this piece of hair not curling? I'd look down and it's not plugged in. <laughs> it happened like six times and I was ready to like throw it out the window. I was getting so annoyed. Honestly, I must be close to my period or something. Cause like, normally I don't get this like set off. Like I've learned so much patience since being a mum. <laughs> But today, the patience is out the window, along with the hair curler. Okay, the hair doesn't really look better. It just kind of looks fluffy. And you can tell my roots are oily already. I'm fine. Now the dogs are barking. There's also this Plantasia color. It's really pretty too. Let's just layer it on, why not? Okay, the reason I didn't want to use those shimmers Although I don't actually regret it because hello, they look amazing. But we have the Lightwork palette by Janessa Myricks, remember? Lightwork volume V. What's V? Five? Two? Three? Dunno. I think I was absent when um, we learned Roman numerals at school. Because everyone else knows. Like all my friends know them. I don't know them. Maybe that was the year I lived in Korea. Maybe that was the year of Roman numerals and I just never learned. Anyways, look at these colours. Duochrome, like, oh, this colour here could be cool. But then I'm doing blue mascara, right? So I don't know. I don't really know if I want to put blue in. Maybe this color is kind of purple, blue, and green. It's called Abundant. Swatch it. Honestly, they are so pretty. I'd say these are like slightly more metallic and more shimmery than the Natasha Denona ones. But the Natasha ones are stunning, but these are just like that extra little bit. And I feel like Duochromes are the moment right now. Because if you recall from my... PR haul that I did last where I did like in-depth PR unboxing swatches everything even LA girl did so many amazing like what are they called joy crimes <laughs> like the magnificent metals vibes which I will also be using in an upcoming video because I'm obsessed and then we've also got like the jelly match eyeshadows that I've mentioned a couple times they were stunning okay this looks really cool so it's adding a little bit of blue but it's like still in the family of like the greens and stuff, you know? It's like, as I move my head, I feel like I just need purple and it's like the perfect peacock makeup. This does have purple in it, but I think, I don't know, it's almost like I would need to add a little bit of purple eyeshadow to really make it bounce off. Cause I'm pairing it with like these yellowy green tones and it's like picking out more yellowy green, you know? Yeah, that color is so cool. I love this. Like if you love playing with color, you love shimmers, metallics, like just please do yourself a favor and get this palette. I know it looks really random, but these are all like the most amazing shimmers. I'll swatch like three random ones. Let's do Loved, which is the most incredible gold and pink reflect. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Let's do Fierce, which is green and gold, like that classic duochrome red. And let's do Evolving, which is this corner like teal. <sighs> mermaid vibes honestly one more radiant whoa that's so cool imagine this all over the lid with like a really tan bronzy makeup like beach babe makeup oh i really want to use that color obsessed love how this looks i don't know what to do for eyeliner though we're doing blue mascara i feel like this is a terrible idea wait no this isn't blue mascara this is blue eyeliner <laughs> okay we good i thought it was blue mascara for a minute there Oh, weird packaging. So it's called Bossy Blue Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Maybe I bought this because I saw someone use it on TikTok or something and I was like, wow, that looks cool. Now nah, I've just forgotten. Like, I, I would have bought it for a purpose, right? Do any of you guys remember? I like how there's like this rubber bit here. It reminds me of when you're at school and you're learning how to write and some of the kids had those like things that you'd slide onto the pencil to help their grip. It's honestly smart. And it's a nice color blue. Like it's not um like bright, bright, you know? It's like a nice muted blue by the looks of it. I mean, let's see. Oh yeah, I feel like that's gonna go per- why does it sting? Okay. I feel like it's gonna go perfectly with these colors. I'm like waiting to see if it's stinging. It Loki stings, why? I think we're good. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed, I'm gonna screw up my makeup because I actually like it so far. Okay, I just feel like at first it felt like it was stinging my eyes, but now it doesn't at all, so that was weird. Maybe my eyelid's a little bit irritated in that spot that I put it. It's not the easiest eyeliner to apply.
Maybe it just needs like a little warming up, you know, maybe because it's the first time I'm using it. I don't know. This side is pissing me off. Now I've done this weird swooping thing. This side's nice and sharp, this side's like, wee. I'm just stopping before I make it even worse. It looks kind of weird, but I'm hoping once we do like lashes and stuff, it's gonna look like it matches maybe. I don't know. Let's quickly do brows, just so you guys can be annoyed by my eyeliner for a while. You know, just let you soak it in. I'm gonna use the Emco Beauty Ultra Fine Tip Classic Pencil. It's a brow pencil in light medium. I've tried like different brow stuff from them, but I don't think I've tried this. The color is literally perfect. Like, it matches my brows so good. I'd say it's right in the middle of like stiff and creamy. Like if you press quite hard, it's quite creamy and then it blends out with the spoolie. But you can also kind of just like lightly use it and it kind of scratches on and gives you like, you know, a lighter stroke. I feel like this would be such a good everyday pencil for me because it does match so well. Like I could literally just pop on a little bit of it like where I need it and like run, you know. Some brow products I really have to commit the process because like you know otherwise it looks strange like I just ran a little bit of that through and I feel like the color looks so good are they too dark now I'm looking at them like maybe they're too dark but maybe it's just because I haven't done my eyebrows in so long I don't remember what they look like and I've just dyed my hair blonder do you know what I mean like <laughs> I had these big old roots for so long and now I don't and I'm like mm, I think they're okay and I've used this but I usually use the shade light brown whereas this is the shade neutral at blonde I'm just gonna give it a go it's the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows and I do like it um but yeah I just haven't tried this shade before it's got little fibers in it and I just thought maybe it'd be good with like, you know, the fresh hair. I, mean, I feel so snotty. I don't think I'm getting sick. I think it's just hay fever again. Cause I've been sneezing a lot and like my eyes have been getting real watery again. I feel like I had a break for like a month or two where I wasn't getting real bad hay fever and now it's back. Maybe it's cause of all the wind. It's been so windy, <laughs> literally. One of my tomato plants snapped yesterday, which I felt like wasn't too bad. Cause I thought like that'd snap way sooner than they have. We've had some hideously windy days. Like it's windy where I live, windy. I'm on the top of a hill next to the river. So like, it's like a wind tunnel. And honestly, I thought like I would have lost so many plants to the wind by now, but it's the first one. So I can't complain. I had them all like staked up and everything. They were tied down, but they just couldn't, couldn't battle the wind. I don't want to open a new mascara cause I have a ton open already. So I'm gonna use my Lounge Face Lash Mascara. Honestly, this is a hundred percent expired, but I just haven't given it enough love. So we're just going to continue to use it. <laughs> and actually considering I've had this open for like probably over a year, it, um, look, it's applying so good still. So, you know, this mascara I find just takes a second to work up. You know, I love my instant, instant gratification mascaras. I don't like to mess around with mascara. So that's probably the reason I don't gravitate towards this, but when I do give it a moment, it is amazing. Like it really does look incredible when you take time and effort. So if you are someone who likes to actually do the mascara properly and spend time with it, then I would recommend trying this one. I'm just simply lazy, okay? Well, I'm not in general lazy, but when it comes to the mascara, yes. Can you see the difference? I haven't curled my lashes or anything. I feel like this one actually gives a pretty good curl. I might wear a strip lash today because I haven't in a little while. I still love my like little cluster lashes. Honestly, I wear them most of the time. Unfortunately, I've just got that all through the yellow eyeliner, so I'll just have to touch that up once it's all dry. But let me find lashes. I like the um, blush color with the tones on my eyes. I think if I did go lighter blush, like I'm glad it was as deep as it is. It's not deep, but you know what I mean? It's just a little bit deeper than I thought it would be. I think the tone matches well though with the colors on the eyes. I literally just shut my eyes and scrolled my lashes and stopped. And these are the ones we landed on. Good old gold digger. I haven't worn these in so long. All right, the glue is drying, but there is the lash on my, like the side clearly. 
<laughs> Couldn't you tell? I honestly feel like this lash style looks perfect with this makeup. Like I just think it adds like such a nice little pop. They've got like that really concentrated area of like lashes in the middle which just give you that kind of like dolly eye like glam eye look so cute honestly i'm tempted to like put up the blind so you can see the colors better let me try dun, 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 dun. is the lighting better i don't even know if that lighting is better those colors are just so cool the shimmers are like so fine that they literally transform like as you move like it almost just looks like a liquid eyeshadow even though they're powder. Does that make sense? Like they look so finely milled. I just realized this bronzer looks a little bit crazy under my lip. Whoops. Before I put on my lipstick, I just want to add some mist. Let's use this one. Let's try out this color here, which is called My Angels by The Beauty Bible, which as you can see, it's like kind of like a medium tan kind of shade for a highlighter. But I'm hoping it'll just like blend in with my skin tone rather than like creating like a really bright highlight. Do you know what I mean? Like I just want to be able to see it when I'm turning my head. I want it to be like subtle, but not subtle. Like it's still actually giving me a little bit of like a proper highlight without even turning my head because it's so reflective. I'm using my finger and then I'm gonna blend it out. My skin's so matte right now because of the like under eye powders. Right, I wanted to try out one of the Rare Beauty lip pencils I bought. I bought two, two flavors, <laughs> two colors. We've got Lively and we've got Creative. I'm gonna go Pinky Nude. Revolutionary, I know. So this is Creative and they wind up. This looks like a Pinky Nude kind of vibe, I think. Yeah. It looks really pretty. I think that could be a really nice one with the blush even. But let's have a look at Lively. I think this one's a bit more pink pink. Well, they're so similar. Yeah, it's just a bit more pink. So I think we'll go creative. What did you guys think of the Usher halftime show? I feel like I liked it, but I feel like lots of people didn't. But I preferred the parts where he was like on the stage. And everyone's like, oh, what's up with the rollerblading and stuff? I don't know, I kind of loved it. It was random, but I don't know. I was always such a Usher fan. I'm listening to, um, what's it called? Scream by Usher right now. That just reminded me of it. He's had so many bops in the past. That applies on like velvet. It, is almost like a lipstick texture but in a um, lip liner like you could just put that all over and it's like a matte lipstick the color I think is stunning I actually feel like it's perfect with the overall vibe of this makeup literally perfect I'm so scared I'm gonna ruin it with lipstick I do have some ABH lipsticks I've never worn before so I've got butterscotch which I think is gonna be too yellow base just for the lip liner and overall like, i feel like this color with like a brown lip pencil would look amazing as well with this like eye makeup but you know this one's more orangey it's called warm peach checks out once again i still feel like it would look amazing with the eye makeup they smell so good i wind them up and i can smell them like immediately I'm thinking this one's too dark this is soft brown don't worry i've got more this is haze which i think this is like a very pale nude, but I think we're gonna try it on. My lips are so dry. Going back in with our lip pencil. Gonna redefine and blend. I don't even know if that's right. Let me take a little bit of soft brown. I know it's like darker, but because we're obviously mixing it with the light nude. And I think this will go well with the lipstick. This is La Jolla. I don't think that's how you pronounce that, is it? I think I've heard someone say this, but I can't remember how to say it. I'm sure it's like a place in the States. I'm sorry, I'm from New Zealand. Don't, don't hate me. The ultimate shiny, juicy nude. Do you think a matte lip or this shiny lip looks better with this kind of makeup? Cause I don't really know. I got a haircut too, guys. Got like shorter at the front and then I got a chunk off the length as well the ends are so blunt and nice now i'm gonna stop rambling now thank you guys so much for watching i feel so much better i don't feel pissed off anymore i feel good i'm ready to go tackle the day i'm ready to go do some more work all right bye <laughs>